Hey there, Alan Matthews here from Classical Guitar Shed, and in this video, we are going to be tackling the burning question, how do harmonics work on the guitar? So first off, what is a harmonic? Well, a harmonic is when we, we can place our finger on the string, but not actually press the string in certain places and play it, and it makes a different sound. It's different than, than the, the note that actually plays, and then you can retouch it. It's just a weird thing. And it just happens in several different places on the guitar. And so what is actually happening here? What's happening is that, well, to talk about it, we actually have to talk about sound waves because that's what we're dealing with, right? So here we have a string vibrating right here. So this is the bridge and this is the nut or vice versa, but it's these two points right here on the guitar. So whenever we play this string then, the string is going like this, yes? And this is the big vibration. And so that's when we get that particular pitch. Well, what happens is with the harmonic, what we can do is that instead of having that, we can then split it in two. So we're touching right here would be on the first fret. This middle dot right here would be the 12th fret, sorry, not the first fret, the 12th fret. And so if we touch that, we're basically splitting it in half and then both sides are spinning like that. So you have, this would be from the first to 12th, this would be from 12th to the bridge right here. And so then effectively it's going up an octave. You're splitting the string length in half by doing this. And so now it's vibrating on both sides, it's an octave up. Well. As we go up into other positions, we can also split it into three equal parts. And then those three equal parts vibrate and it ends up being a, a fifth. Um, and that would be the seventh fret right there. And so now we're splitting it and it's also the 17th fret. No, the 19th fret. And it's the exact same because this is thirds splitting the guitar string into thirds from here to here, from here to here, from here to here. And so it's the splitting now into thirds. And then the pitch that that is happens to be up a fifth from the, from the original. And so then that's splitting it into thirds. We can also go even further and split it into fourths. And this would be the fifth fret. And so now we're splitting the guitar into four equal sections here. One, two, three, four. And so this one is not so easy. It's not that you can do it at the fifth and then also at the tenth because that it doesn't really work because then it's, it takes different fundamentals out. But ultimately it goes up another octave from here. So we have open up from there. And so this is ultimately how it is. Whenever you're stopping the string with your finger, you're effectively shortening the string and cutting out those larger, the fundamentals, fundamental meaning the, the main note that's being played by the string. The string is this long from here to here. If we split it into four, now the string is effectively only this long right here. And then there's also one this long. So then it's ultimately two different things going on. That's why we can't play it at the 10th and then again at the 15th because it's just a, a, different, a, di a different thing. So this is how harmonics work. It's all about breaking up sound waves into shorter and shorter wavelengths. This is very long, this is very short, and that's how it happens. Also, you can split up, you can keep going. So this is, these are the main ones, which is the 12th fret, the seventh fret and the fifth fret. And then also you could play the 19th fret, which sounds the same as the seventh. Now you can keep going. There are other ones that you can, you can do. They get really hard to play and impractical at times, but you can also um, play other ones and it keeps going and keeps going into, you can split it into really into infinite numbers, but you, it would be so high you wouldn't be able to hear it. So this is how harmonics work on the guitar. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope it satisfies your burning cravings for knowledge. And I look forward to seeing you in the next installment. Please subscribe to this channel or go over to classicalguitarshed.com and explore 
all things classical guitar. See you soon.